8 morning. So I am just trying to make myself coffee here. If I can get it going in this wind. So I slept a lot better last night. I set out the, uh, the hammock right here and just let the breeze just rock me to sleep. It was nice, a lot cooler with the breeze we had last night. It is 5.56 in the morning. I've been up about a half hour or so. Started packing up, just gonna make myself some coffee and then hit the rest of the spots that we haven't seen yet. It is bright and early, just a little after 7 a.m. getting out of here to so get some hiking done before the heat of the day comes in. So if you've watched my last couple videos, you know that this is the third and final day of my trip here to the Valley of Fire just outside of Las Vegas. If you haven't seen my last couple videos, just to catch you up, it's blazing hot. The park has already closed about half the hiking trails for the summer. But yesterday, we did take a ride from the campsite as far as we were allowed to go up Mouse's Tank Road. Now all those hiking trails were closed, so we did come back down and we hiked Rainbow Vista. And then we did visit a few other sites along the main road, including the petrified logs and the beehives, before coming back down to the campsite and just relaxing for the rest of the day. So today, before it gets too hot, the plan is to hike the Mouse's Tank Trail, which I think is one of the more interesting hikes here in the Valley of Fire, and then quickly check out the Seven Sisters and Elephant Rock before heading out of the park. Got a little, bit, a little bit of a traffic jam. Okay, so this hike is called the Mouse's Tank, and I think it's named after some guy named Mouse who hid out from the authorities here way back in the day because way down at the end, there's a little area where it pools water. So he was able to stay out here and survive for months, avoiding the sheriff. What's really great about this hike is it takes place in this canyon. So you have walls on either side so you get some nice shade in here, nice colors, lots of rock formations, but also this area is really known for all the petroglyphs that, that line the walls. And you'll see them as we keep walking all along. There's just countless carvings in the rocks 
on both sides. So I always think Mouse's Tank is a really cool hike. Short, easy hike. You're out here and you're looking for something to do just real quick. But, but has real interesting features. I think Mouse's Tank is the one to go. So coming up next we have going to stop at the Seven Sisters. It's just these seven rock formations, but it's pretty much a picnic area. Just a real quick stop, and then on to Elephant Rock. So this is the Seven Sisters. So it's just basically these seven rock spires. to the last stop of the trip and that is Elephant Rock so named because it looks like a giraffe actually the rock is just right there you can see it but we go down to this little parking lot here walk on over to it. <laughs> 